The other day I was out driving around and I saw a supermarket that I hadn't seen before, hadn't been into before. I always like to check out new places just to see what they're like, even though most of the time they have the same stuff. So after wandering around and picking up some things, I got in line and I ended up behind a stereotypical old lady. She had a bunch of different vegetables, each one in a different bag, and she wanted to pay by check, which took her a long time to write out. I was just kind of standing there, staring off into the distance, not really in a hurry when I noticed the woman standing behind me. She was very young and very attractive, but the thing I noticed most about her were the amount of tattoos covering her. Not just the amount of tattoos, but what they were. They weren't images of common things or anything like Chinese characters. They seemed to be symbols of some kind, ancient symbols. I found myself staring a bit too long, so I asked her about them. She told me that she had just sold her business. She'd had a psychic shop for a long time. She did all kinds of readings, crystals, palm readings, tarot cards. She'd built up quite a large customer base, but something had made her decide to sell it and do something else. I asked her what had happened and she told me. I had this one woman come in. I'd never seen her before. She seemed nervous like all my other customers did the first time. But I sensed something about her was much different. I asked her if she wanted a reading and she said no. She said she had a question. She told me she was and had been an elementary school teacher for a few years. But something strange started to happen a few years ago. There wasn't any specific cause for this to happen. She didn't have an accident or any kind of other life-changing event. It was more like a skill that kept getting stronger and stronger. A skill that she tried to ignore at first, but eventually couldn't. And that skill was that she was able to read the thoughts of her students. Like when she was teaching, she couldn't since she was focused on what she was teaching and what was going on inside of her own brain. But when she would give them in-class assignments, that's when she noticed it. When she could relax her mind and just pay attention. When she could turn off the internal chatter and just let intuition take over. She said she could look at each student individually and listen to what was inside their mind. Pretty soon she was able to fine-tune her attention to focus on each student individually and slowly shift from student to student. She felt like she could, but she never quite tried to lead their thoughts. Up to this point, she was only able to pay attention to and listen to their thoughts. She asked me if he was a freak. She asked me if she should seek professional help. I reached out and I took her hands and held them. I closed my eyes. She closed hers. And I simply felt her energy. Then I looked at her and said, You have an incredible amount of power. You are only now just beginning to feel the strength of your gifts. The job you have now is okay, but you know that you are destined for something much greater. You know there is something much more important that you are supposed to be doing. You need to pay close attention to your intuition. A time will come in the future where you will start to feel an internal pull towards something specific. Something that may seem different than what you are expecting. Something that may cause a little anxiety. But this won't come twice. This won't be obvious. If you miss it, you'll miss it and you might never get another chance. I don't know when this will happen, but this is in your future. She told me it was this event, meeting with this elementary school teacher, that told her to do something different, to leave her comfortable life behind and seek something new. I asked her if she knew what that was and she said she didn't. She only knew that it was here and that she needed to pay close attention to her intuition and that she knew that in her future this intuition would get stronger and stronger. Finally the lady finished paying and I bought my chips. It turns out that this supermarket does have something that very few supermarkets have, at least in this part of the country. They have a huge tortilla machine in the back and every day they make fresh tortillas. Not only do they make fresh tortillas, but they make these really delicious chips out of freshly made and freshly fried corn tortillas. The last time I ate freshly fried corn tortillas was a couple of decades ago when a few of my friends and I would go to Mexico occasionally. But I haven't been to Mexico in a long time.